sometimes you fish pretty close to shore and other times you go out four or five miles and fish in uh, 200 feet of water. Bay Mills is situated on Lake Superior, making it ideal for small commercial fishing businesses. In certain areas, only the Anishinaabe, or first people, can fish commercially. But being in the elements, you know, I mean, farmers know it too. You go out there and you work. You work the fields. You don't get to wait for a nice day all the time. And fishermen are like that too. They're out here farming the lake. The Bay Mills Conservation Department regulates and licenses this practice, and fishers are verified federally by the Bureau of Indian Affairs. Fishing is allowed in certain Great Lakes waters within the boundaries of the 1836 Treaty of Washington, where certain tribes, including Bay Mills, sold lands and waters to the U.S. government, but retained their rights to fish and use the land as they had been. Despite the treaty, Bay Mills has had to fight for fishing rights achieving key legal victories starting in 1976. Bay Mills has basically always led the way. We just went to the Supreme Court and won in uh, Michigan versus Bay Mills in, in, in a sovereignty case. The community had been behind a lot of first in Indian country. Because they stopped us from fishing here and it took away our livelihood. Or it's always been our livelihood. Took that to the Supreme Court and won. Just hear me out, I'm the one they warned you about. Once you get into the circle of life that way, it feeds you in, in such a way that it's, it's rewarding you even if you don't get richly rewarded. You get that connection. You smell the wind, you, can, it's, you, just, you just connect with it. And that's what those fishermen do. 